Hello, uh, today I would like to show you how to tune up LDBC connection to your mainframe database um, in order to use it in a SQL waste tool for doing the conversion directly from the database using uh, a LDBC client. Uh, so, and um, uh, first thing that you will require for this is to download a DB2 Connect personal edition from IBM side. So you just uh, make a search for download DB2 Connect personal edition, find the reference to a six pack, like 9.7 six packs. Okay, so um, uh, I'm recommending you to download the, uh, the uh, uh, six six pack, like 9.76. You can see it here. So uh, I, I've got Windows 32 bit, so and I need ODBC driver, uh, 32 bit ODBC driver for my uh, current SQL ways, uh 32 bit version. So I'm downloading this one. So you just click it, and um, IBM site directs you to a download page where you can just click the file and download it to your computer. So all you need is uh, the IBM account to uh, download this fixed pack version, and in, uh, in order to install it in your current Windows operational system. So uh, once you download it and after installing it on your computer, you will see a set of tools, uh, client tools installed on your computer. So you need setup tools and configuration assistant tool to uh, build up a connection to your IBM. Database. So uh, I already got one uh, connection, so let me remove it uh, to show you how to make a connection to uh, OS 390 database. So uh, we just go to configure, or just let's click uh, right mouse button. A database using wizard and specify a manual configure connection to a database. On the protocol page, you need to specify the CPAP connection and the database physically resides on your host or OS 400 system. Please select it. So the rest option can be leave, uh, can be left as is here. For a TCP IP connection, you need to specify the host name of S400 server. So it's like S400 host. Let's name it like this, just for, a, for an example. The port number is specified as a default 446. On the database name, you need to specify the name of your database server, uh, like like, for example, test. Then let's click next. And uh, here on the register, this database is a data source. Is actually, you can specify the ODBC data source name for your uh, current connection, TCP IP connection that you are tuning. So let it name like, let's name it like test underscore. S400. In this, here on this page, uh, you need to specify a operating operation system as OS 390 if you are connecting to the DOS operational system or OS 400. So we are connecting to this one. Uh, the rest options can be left as this. 
And when you click Finish, you have an opportunity to test the connection to your system, but to find a user uh, password. And click a Test Connect. So, uh, after making all this uh, uh, tuning, so you should receive a, a successful connection to your source database, mainframe database. So, and actually, at this point, you are ready to use this connection using SQL Waste Wizard. Remember, we uh, named it like TestAS400. So, we just specified from the list of the ODB CDS and names. Click Next. So it takes some time uh, for our tool to connect to the uh, mainframe database, extract some information from uh, this database. You can see, so it's busy currently. And let's maybe uh, close uh, this all. Finish, close. We have a connection here. Okay. So uh, now we are going to choose a target database. You need to specify any target database you, you need or uh, the one that is supported by your license from the list of the supported databases. Just click Next. Okay. So you can see now the result of the connection to your store database. And at this point, you can choose any objects like tables, use, functions, store procedures, or triggers from your mainframe database and convert it into Oracle system as, as an example here in my uh, demo. So uh, as you can see, everything is quite simple. All you need is to correctly install the DP2 Connect personal edition with the appropriate tools, uh, graphical tools that helps you uh, install the connection to your mainframe database. You need to have the information regarding the uh, IP, ad IP address of the computer or the host name of the mainframe in your network and the database server name and also the username and the password that you can use to connect to your mainframe database. Also, please uh, make sure that uh, uh, TCP IP connections are open on, on your mainframe uh, server just in order to have an opportunity to connect to your mainframe database using uh, ODBC connections to the TCP IP. Okay, uh, thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please feel welcome uh, right to uh, our uh, to support, aspire.com or just uh, <clears throat> go to our site and uh, make a request of a WebEx uh, with us uh, just in order our, uh, for our technical consultants uh, could help you with uh, tuning up of your uh, connection to your database. Uh, so have a nice day. Bye.